Hi, I'm going to show you how to get started in Parent Square today and change your language to your home language. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the Parent Square app on your phone. So go to your phone's app store and type in Parent Square in the search bar to find the app. Then you're going to want to download it and open it up on your phone. To sign in, you're going to type your, the email or cell phone number that we have on file for you. And then it's going to send you a confirmation email or text message to verify that it's the correct address. Make sure you click on your confirmation email or text and follow the instructions to log back into ParentSquare. Once you're signed in, you're going to tap the three bars on the top left-hand corner of the app and then go down to Account, click on that. And now choose Preferences, and this is where we're going to set your language preference. Here you can see you choose Language Settings, and then you can choose from a few hundred different languages that are powered by Google Translate. So just click on the language that you prefer. Now click the back button again. And click that button one more time to get back to the first screen again. And now go to sign out. To sign out of ParentSquare, say yes, sign out. And then log back into ParentSquare to see the new changes in your language take effect. Now you can see that all the posts are written in your native language and you can reply to those posts in your native language. You can also send a message to your child's teacher in your native language and they'll receive the message in English and be able to reply back to you. To change your notification settings, click the three bars at the top left-hand corner of the screen to access the main menu again, and go to Account again. And then you're going to choose Notifications. This is where you're going to set the notifications for uh, how frequently and which ways you want to get announcements from our schools. So you can choose either Instant or Digest. If you choose Digest, it will send you all the notifications from that day in one message at the end of the day. And if you choose Instant, it will send them out immediately whenever they get sent. You can see if you have more than one child in our schools, you can um, change the notification settings for each school that your child is in. And you can also choose whether you want to get text, app, or email notifications, or a combination of all three. Please leave the alerts turned on because this is how we send you really important messages about school closings.